What's going on, yo, Tobe? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another Prize Picks video with your boy. Drop a like down below, cause I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the fifty dollar giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. Thank y'all for joining me as always, baby. The winner of last week's $50 giveaway. My girl is trying to FaceTime me real quick. Hold on a second. My son probably just woke up and he was wanting to talk to me. But hey, video has now started, so I can't answer that. Um, the winner of the $50 giveaway last week is D Draper 41 D Draper 41 thank you for commenting. Thank you for all that good stuff. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL uh, so I can get your information and send that 50 over to you. Appreciate everybody who watched all that good stuff, man. Last week was amazing. It was a fantastic week at Props Made Easy, man. And Props Made Easy just showed out. It just showed out all week, man. It really was all over all the plays. And remember, this is these are tools that are only $20 a month. The user interface couldn't be any more beautiful. The ability to be able to use a sniper tool, the ability to check EV, but also pairing that with projection from a very solid source. Um, being able to look at uptrending, downtrending, all these things right here on one screen, there's no other place that you need. Like I'm so lucky to be able to be a part of a company like this to where all I use for player props is Props Made Easy. I don't use a single other source. I open up Props Made Easy and I check and see what Props Made Easy is on um, and what I'm liking that way. Literally, from the tools, every single play, and my hit rate has skyrocketed. Um, so, plain and simple, if you want to try Props Made Easy, it's only $20 a month. That's like over 30 something plus dollars than the competition, and they don't even have plus projection. They don't have the ability to snipe plays. They don't have the ability to look at uptrending, downtrending, all those things, man. We do this at Props Made Easy. So if you haven't tried it yet, trust me, once you try Props Made Easy, it will be your go-to place for picks. And and I mean, it's, it's the cheat code for becoming self-sufficient in player props, okay? Props Made Easy will allow you to be the pro. You will be picking better picks than these guys who run discords. You know what I mean? You don't need to follow a discord. You can create your own discord and give plays from Props Made Easy. Like, Props Made Easy is the number one source when it comes to finding the best plays in player props. And you can figure that out by just trying it for a week. You'll notice what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Um, but obviously, keep the bankroll management. Downtimes do happen. But at Props Made Easy, man, it's just an amazing... Look at the user f interface, man. I love the purple and the green together. It's just beautiful, man. I love it. I, I love it. And remember, if you're on your phone, um, all so all I do from my iPhone... I used to have a Samsung. I now have the new iPhone. Um, when I go to my browser, I click the little two A's down in the little browser button, and I go to uh, request desktop mode, and I keep Props Made Easy on desktop mode. I, I zoom out, and then I can see the whole chart right there on my screen um, and that's how I pick my plays if I'm on the go all right so if you if you like to use your phone or all that good stuff it's very easy to use props made easy you just got to go to your desktop mode okay so like I said the two little A's down in the search bar go to request desktop mode and you're good to go all right and zoom out and it'll put the whole tool on your screen really super easily and I've that's literally how I keep it on my phone I actually set it so it's permanently set like Props Made Easy, the site, is permanently set to desktop mode on my phone every time I go to it. So eventually there will be an app, obviously. Eventually we will drop an app, but until then, the uh, desktop mode for mobile is very easy to use. All right? All right, let's talk NFL. First things first, reports are that the weather is drastically better in Buffalo, okay? It's a dra drastically better environment. Um, it's still going to be cold as hell, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Wind's going to be like 10 to 20 miles per hour still, but it shouldn't be that bad. So we can take advantage of these sportsbook differentials still. Josh Allen's passing plus rushing yards is set at 263.5. It's 267.5 in other sportsbooks, which is a four sportsbook differential. Projection of 280.3. Remember, Josh Allen can do a lot with his feet, okay? He has a probably he's probably going to get you 40 to 50 rushing yards on the ground alone. Then we only need about 220, 230 passing yards. We know he can do it um, at home in Buffalo here, and the conditions aren't as bad. The sportsbook difference is four. The projection difference is 16.8. I feel pretty good about Josh Allen's passing plus rushing yards over, especially with that weather looking better. Now, if we get closer to lock and it's looking like it's getting super like a blizzard again, then yeah, of course, avoid it. But it looks like the conditions should be better tonight. All right. Another player that I like tonight is Jalen Hurts passing plus rushing yards over 261.5. He's 263.5 on uh, other sportsbooks. 
which is a two sportsbook differential. Projection of 265.5. So both are on the over. Not only is EV on the over, but projections on the over. And that's what's amazing about Props Made Easy is you can, as you guys know, if you've played only EV, you know that losses still are going to happen, obviously, right? But if you pair plus EV with top of the line analytics and data that go into a projection source, you can make sure that the you're playing the even better EV. Like I used to, when I would play just EV, and then now I play EV plus projection, my hit rate has slightly gone up from there. So yes, plus EV is a great way to play, but adding a, a solid projection source to know that, okay, this is plus EV, but the projection source also agrees because there's times where EV will be on one side, projection source is way on the other side, and you can kind of know, okay, this looks like a good plus EV spot, but this is probably a spot to avoid. Um, and I'm not going to put a ton of you know merit into it. But yeah, let's check unders. Um, Jamison Will Williams was a lock, easy money, man. I was telling y'all about him, his under all week. Uh, Rashad White's rushing plus receiving yards is at 92.5. We like the under for him. 92.5 on um, prize picks, 90.5 in other sportsbooks on minus two sportsbook differential. Projection of 90.5 on minus two projection differential. So under on Rashad White's rushing plus receiving yards is one that looks good. Dawson Knox receiving yards, um, we have to skip over this. The projection has not come in for him yet. I don't know if he has some type of injury designation or what's going on there. That should pop in eventually, but obviously at a zero projection. They don't have a projection out for him, so we can, all you can go off of is EV. I would, don't look at this, obviously, because there isn't a projection for him. Um, EV has the under. Um, I would wait. Obviously, we like plus EV, plus projection. I'd wait for an actual projection to come in here before you make a decision on that one. Um, Chase Edmonds, rushing plus re receiving yards, but that's starting to get real, like, you're starting to ask do too much. Rashad White's rushing plus receiving yards under 92.5 is probably the best option there. And then the over on Josh Allen passing plus rushing, the over on Jalen Hurts passing plus rushing. All right? Let's move on to NBA, baby. Any to snipe? Nothing to snipe early on in the day so far. Remember, I do these videos at 9 a.m. in the morning central time, so it's very early here. Um, so no snipe options are on the board at the moment. Let's look at uptrending. Okay, we've got a few uptrending right here that are looking good that have projection also on the same side. Not too bad. Um, let's look at downtrending. Downtrending has some good ones as well. Let's talk about Tim Hardaway Jr. against New Orleans tonight. PRA is set at 30.5, minus 130 odds on the under. Solid juice on the under, the 30.5 here for him. 25.73 projection. Um, he has been going under this consistently, under the 30.5 consistently. Um, Vegas odds are on the under at minus 130, and projections 25.73. So, the under on Tim Hardaway Jr.'s PRA looks like a good place to start today. Let's see if there's any more solid juice on anything. Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Man, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this next play. Let's see. Let's go Brandon Ingram's points. Okay, this is a very interesting situation here because as you guys know, the flame indicates that they are a popular bet on prize picks, right? So a lot of people are playing Brandon Ingram, either over or under. The tool lets you know that the over is to play for him against Dallas tonight. Points is set at 19.5. Vegas is on the over at minus 120, very slightly. No crazy juice on the over, so this is a tight, tight window here. This could easily fluctuate to the under as time goes on, but for right now, it is plus EV on the over Brandon Ingram's points at 19.5. We have him projected at 21.34, a 1.84 projection differential. So Brandon Ingram, he has been on a down slope, as you can see with this trend right here. That's the downtrending image, all right, which means he has gone under 19.5 in at least four of the last five games, okay? So he has not been hitting this regularly, but this spot is a spot that, again, he hasn't been hitting this regularly, but he's due to hit it, okay? Um, so I like the fact that everything's signaling towards him bouncing back in this one. So over points of 19.5 for Brandon Ingram. And then we grabbed the under on Tim Hardaway Jr.'s PRA because he has been missing this consistently. And Vegas is high on the over under at minus 130. And projections also 4.77 under. All right. Let's move on. College football. Nothing for college football. Call of Duty. College basketball. 
We're, we have one play. Tyler Kolex points is set at 13.5. We're going to grab the over. He's 14.5 in other sportsbooks, giving him a one sportsbook differential value on the over. 13.5 for Tyler. For NHL, we got some good ones today. We have Pierre Dubois. Shots on goal is at 1.5. Minus 130 odds on the over 1.5. Projection of 2.73, a 1.23 projection differential. Solid spot for the over Pierre Dubois, shots on goal of 1.5. And then we have William Eklund, who's also a good shots on goal over 1.5, minus 130 juice on the over, projection 2.36. Another solid, solid option. Um, yeah, let's rock with those two overs. Let's go the over on Pierre-Luc Dubois, shots on goal of 1.5, and then the over on William Eklund, shots on goal of 1.5. League of Legends, still 0.5s. Um, I'm sure when these first drop on the PME tool, there's like 1s, 1s.5s values that you can grab. But by the time I get into these videos, it's always 0.5s in very tight lines. Uh, so take advantage, Pros Made Easy members, of when these first drop. You can really get some good value there. Um, when it comes to tennis, we've got some minus 1s here. Um, you can go any of these right here. Any of this core right here, all of these are minus ones. I'm not going to signal any out because there's too many to choose from. But you can go any of these options right here that are, I'm highlighting. All right. MMA has nothing. All right, let's do a recap. So for NFL, like I said, the conditions are looking better in Buffalo. So Josh Allen's passing plus rushing yards, 263.5 on prize picks, 267.5 other places, which is a four sportsbook differential. Projection is pointing toward his, towards him having a solid game with his feet and through the air. So Josh Allen passing plus rushing over. Um, Jalen Hurts passing plus rushing over 261.5. And then we're grabbing the under on Rashad White's rushing plus receiving of 92.5. Um, for NBA... We're grabbing the over on Brandon Ingram's points. When it comes to projection differential, Brandon Ingram is the best projection differential over play that we possibly have on the board. Plus, EV is slightly on the over for him. And uh, he's been on a downtrend, yes. So if you like to avoid downtrending players, then cool. But what that tells me is because he's been downtrending, he's due for an up. So I'm thinking Brandon Ingram over 19.5 points today. And then we're grabbing the under on Tim Hardaway Jr. on the other side of that game's PRA of 30.5. He has been on a downtrend, but Vegas also is on the under at minus 130. Okay, so with Brandon Ingram, he's been on a downtrend, but not only does Vegas, but projection source also has him bouncing back. With Tim Hardaway Jr., he's been on a downtrend, but Vegas and projection source have him remaining on the downtrend. All right. College football, nothing. Call of Duty, nothing. College basketball, over on Tyler Kolick, points of 13.5. NHL, some great plays for NHL today. Over on Pierre Dubois, shots on goal of 1.5. And then over on William Eklund, shots on goal of 1.5. Soccer, nothing. League of Legends, all 0.5s. You can play any of those you see on my screen right there. They're all fine. CS2, tennis, we have some unders right here is the core. These five people right here are the best tennis options. Um, and then that's it. Thank you all for joining me as always, man. Good luck tonight. Continue smashing Pros Made Easy members. If you haven't pulled the trigger on Pros Made Easy yet, man, even when we had a free trial, and I know, I know if you used that free trial recently that you ate, okay? Pull the trigger. It'll raise your hit rate. It'll make things better for you, okay? The the free trial is no longer available at Pros Made Easy. If you want to run Pros Made Easy, you need to sign up for Pros Made Easy officially. It has been absolutely amazing and uh, everybody using it. And I, I don't hear anything but positive reviews from people who have been using Pros Made Easy for a while. You know what I mean? The people who really have a big sample size have been using the Pros Made Easy tool. Like over the last, Pros Made Easy has been around not even a year yet. Okay? And over the last four to five months, it's really made drastic improvements even more than it was in the beginning. And it is legitimately the best source for player props um, in the industry. All right, so if you want to become a better player prop player and you just want to be able to open your phone and pull up a tool and immediately know the best plays to play, that's Props Made Easy all day. All right, thank you all for joining me as always. Let's get it. PropsMadeEasy.com, $20 a month, and I'm out. Peace.